Okay, saints, a sister with a testimony. I'm going to prayer meeting. And um, I was thinking on this earlier. I was uh, reading this morning in my devotionals, uh, the Bible and the Old Testament. I was reading in one of the Psalms that God is our avenger. And uh, uh, got me to thinking about the Avengers Endgame movie. And uh, Jim and I went to see it. And, um, of course... I don't really care for stuff like that. I don't watch a whole lot of movies, but what I will do is go and check them out and see what kind of new age, uh, witchcraft, sorcery, stuff like that's going on in them. And oh my gosh, this one was totally and completely, I mean, just full, full of, uh, oh, Tai Chi, witchcraft, sorcery. Uh, you know, of course, if you follow Marvel comics and the different comic books, you know, you got all these superhero heroes with all these powers. Yeah, guys, the only power that's real and true, that's not counterfeit, is from Holy Spirit, Kadesh Ruach. But um, anyhow, it got me to thinking about the name um, Avengers Endgame, and I looked up Avengers uh it's only listed one time in the New Testament in uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 6. So if you look at 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 1 through 7, it um, starts off talking about your walk with the Lord and then the sanctification process. Um, what does this have to do with Avengers, the Endgame movie? Well, a lot. Because if you watch that movie, and I'm not going to encourage anybody to watch it, but if you do watch it, if you have to endure it, you'll sit there and you'll smile and laugh. It's like, <laughs> yeah, they have no clue, but that's how people want to, you know, fantasize about, oh, you know, somebody saving the world and there being all these different gods and everything. Um, oh my gosh, we, we really are, you know, we humans delusional like oh my gosh that's why the the word of god the holy scripture says he will give them up to their own delusions yeah just go watch this movie you you will see some delusional stuff but it's like it's hilarious because guess what they don't know god they don't know the word they don't know the truth it's entertainment though but it just makes you wonder what people are watching and what they're believing all this sci-fi stuff and sorcery. I mean, seriously, straight up sorcery. Yeah. So anyhow, Avengers. Uh, the Word of God says that God is the Avenger. And, you know, you've heard the term revenge. And um, avenge is a little bit different. Avenger or avenge, A-V-E-N-G-E, -E, is when wicked and evil is... Um, paid back or judged with basically the same recompense. Yeah, recompense there. The same manner in which they were being just horrible and um, bringing destruction and death and mass murder. That's how the true Avenger will avenge. The Bible says, let vengeance be mine. The reason why is because it's a bloody, gory, horrible, horrible scene. Now, in this movie, of course, they didn't make it look that horrible. But if you've seen The Passion of Christ and you got a realistic view of the blood and the gore and the guts and the, the, the death and the hate and the mal malevolence... Um, that's really what this is depicting. Evil coming against evil. But people are making the good... I'm sorry, I apologize, not the good. The people, humans, are making the evil look good. And fighting evil with evil. It, it makes absolutely no sense. But anyhow, it got me off on a really good study. If you will look at 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 1 through 7, um, I've got a couple, actually three other ladies that are uh, doing a long, in-depth study and breakdown on this and what the Lord is saying to them personally and uh, getting a lot of really good positive feedback on this. 
Uh, it'll make you think if you actually start meditating on the scriptures instead of just reading over them, skimming, skimming them, and doing a word search. I encourage you, saints, look up the word avenge. Um, think about God being the true avenger. And I promise you, Jesus did say that he came into this world not to bring peace, but to bring division. That's a, a difference of opinions. That division is going to start in your own household. Mother against daughter. Um, Mother-in-law against daughter-in-law. Fathers-in-law against fa uh, father and sons. Just There's going to be division in your own house. There's going to be division all around you. There's going to be a difference of opinions. So the only way you're going to know what the right opinion is is if you kick out opinions and you say, I want to know what the Word of God says. So I'm encouraging you here to dive into the Word of God. When you see something up on the movie screens like Avengers End Game, Saints, I just want to clarify something real quick. Wake up. Wake up. We are in the end game. And the only Avenger is the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth himself. Kadesh Ruach, Holy Spirit, living in me and through me. That's your only hope. That's your only hope. If you ain't got Jesus, you got nothing. Saints, I just want to encourage you today to study the Word of God, to read it and study it. Look at what those words really mean. Please do not take a preacher's word for it. Please don't take my word for it. I am just so in a place with the Lord that I do not want anybody's blood on my hands. I'm telling y'all, I'm not going to say something to you if I have not researched it and exhausted it. And I'm not giving you my opinion here. I'm telling you what the word breaks down to. God is the only avenger in this end game. Now, you have a decision to make, saints. Are you going to be a soldier in the true army of Christ? Are you going to be a soldier with a testimony, a saint with a testimony, a sister or a brother with a testimony? Are you going to sit there on your thumb and wonder when they going to come and take you to the concentration camps? And I ain't talking about you sitting there concentrating when you get there. Okay? Think about this. Jesus did not come to bring peace on this earth. He came to bring division and it's going to be amongst your own household. You are going to have to make a decision if it's going to be Yeshua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, or if it's going to be your way and the new age Jesus that they're preaching. They are saying Jesus Christ came to bring peace on the earth. Somebody is lying. They are lying and they are brainwashing people that are called to know better. The people of the Lord God Almighty them, himself. He said, judgment will start at the house of the Lord. And if the righteous are scarcely saved, what is going to happen to the ungodly, the wicked, the sinners? What's, what's going to happen to them if we're righteous? Righteous people are scarcely be saved? Think about that, saints. Eight people got in the boat. Noah's Ark, eight humans. Yeah, think about that. It's time that you figured out what's going on around you. It probably has some sort of meaning that you will find scriptural evidence to support it. And they've taken an idea and they've counterfeited it and made it their own. Avengers. End game. God is the only Avenger. And he is the only one that's going to win the end game. So I pray that you are an end game warrior. I pray that you will uh, get up off the pew and do something other than just go and... Um, sing a little song, hear a little preaching, get a little prayer for yourself. I'm praying that you'll get up and do something for somebody else. And if you are, God bless you. 
you're obligated to do that much. Now I'm going to encourage you to get up and do more. Because guess what? We could never do enough to thank him for what he's done for us. I'm preaching to the choir. God is the avenger. He's the only one that's going to win the end game. And I don't care how many sorcery-filled movies they put out there with little G-gods in them. They're no match for the blood of the Lamb, the word of my testimony, and the fact that I will die for what I believe. Pray for me that I grow in grace and knowledge and strength and courage. And uh, I'll pray for you to grow in grace and knowledge and strength and understanding and wisdom and all of the wonderful things that the Lord said. I have blessed you with every spiritual blessing. That's for you, saints. If you abide in him and his word abides in you, you will ask anything and he shall do it. Saints. You have already been blessed with every spiritual blessing. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is God in the flesh. And no counterfeit. No love. 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 Jesus will get you through. He is the God of love, but he's also the only true avenger the God of vengeance, the God that is jealous. Yeah, the angry God. Yeah, why don't you look in your scriptures and see if you find the one that says our God, our Yahuwah, the true God, the one true God is a consuming fire. Mm. New Testament. Wow. Uh, Saints, they have put so many versions of the Bible out there and they've taken so many words out and so many verses out that, um, we really have no clue what we're looking at if we don't search the scriptures daily. So, again, Avengers, Endgame, I'll say it again. Yahuwah is the only Avenger. Yahuwah, God the Father, <laughs> Yahshua Hamashiach, God the Son, Kadesh Ruach, Holy Spirit, one Lord one faith, one baptism. Study to show yourselves approved. Workmen not ashamed, rightly dividing the word of Yahuwah. Ah, hallelujah. I love you. God bless you. I pray that you will search the scriptures. I pray that you will dive into 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 1 through 7. You'll write them down, meditate on them, Write it out in your own words. Do some word studies. Meditate on that for a week and see what you come up with. God will bless you. And you'll have the understanding that he's the only avenger. And if you're going to live, you're going to have to live separated. Cause yourself to be sanctified as he sanctifies you. This is a process. And obey him. I plead and apply the blood of Yeshua Hamashiach over you. I pray that the Lord will grant you understanding with all of the knowledge and the wisdom that you're getting that he will continue to bless you and keep you and that you'll grow in grace and knowledge. I love you. God bless you. It's sister with a testimony on my way to prayer meeting. Praying daily. Well, I might as well just admit it. I pretty much pray all the time. You know, pray without ceasing saints. I'm encouraging you. You can do this. You can have an ongoing conversation with the Lord all day long. Yeah, just focus on him. You'll figure it out. I love you. God bless you. Later.